what do you think is the meaning of the word contingent contingent means dependent dependent on what on something contingent also means it may or may not happen so the word contingent has been defined or described as something which is dependent on some other thing and this is the reason why that it may or may not happen because it is dependent on something else now that something else is the base it is on what this contract is dependent so the result of that something else will determine if this contract will happen or no for example let's say you own a shop and in that shop you sell jeans and i being your friend come to your shop now i when i come to your shop i tell you that i'll pick up two jeans and take that home i'll try them i'll show them to my you know mother or father and then i'll decide if i'll buy them or no so you say okay now please remember if this would have been a normal transaction wherein i am coming to your shop and buying jeans it would have been a valid contract it would have been a normal business contract but here i am not buying it i am not buying the jeans straight away i put a condition that i'll take the jeans home if my mother approves it if i like it it is only then that i'll buy it so do you think you can record sales the moment i take it home you cannot record sales here the moment i take it home why because you do not know if i'll eventually purchase it or no i possibly might return it there is no guarantee that i might purchase it there is an equal possibility of me purchasing it also of me returning it so as of now you cannot record sales and because of this thing such a contract between us will become a contingent contract why because your sales is dependent upon my approval i may approve it i may not approve it if i approve it the contract becomes valid it comes into action if i do not approve it i return the jeans to you the contract ends there it becomes void as if nothing had ever happened let's say there are two persons a and b a tells b that i want 1000 bales of cotton i want 1000 bales of cotton so b tells a that okay i'll supply you or i'll sell you 1000 bales of cotton but b tells him that the price of each bale would be 100 rupees so in all a is required to give b rupees 1 lakh so now we have a contract here a will give b 1 lakh rupees and b will supply 
cotton to A. What if B does not have cotton as of that day when A comes to him? Let's say A comes to him, you know, comes to his shop today and they enter into this contract. But as a matter of fact, B does not have any stock of cotton with him. So B tells A that I have ordered cotton from England. So he tells him I have ordered cotton from England and it is coming by a ship. It is loaded in a ship. Now this ship is carrying it. If this ship reaches the port of Bombay, I'll sell you. I'll give you the cotton. But if the ship does not reach Bombay, let's say, uh, you know, it, it uh, drowns, it gets sunk in the waters or it is hit by some typhoon or hurricane. Then possibly I might not be able to give you. This is B's statement. Now this ship has left from London. It is yet to reach Bombay. It hasn't reached Bombay as yet. So now what is happening in this contract is till the time this condition was not involved. Till the time I did not tell you that the cotton is in the ship which is coming from London to Bombay. This contract was okay. It was a perfect contract, normal contract. But now what has happened is there's a condition attached to it that if the ship reaches the port of Bombay, the contract will be enforced and it will be performed. So now this contract does not become valid when it is made. It will become valid when the ship will reach the port of Bombay and it is only then that B will be required to perform the contract because it is only then that the contract gets enforced or it becomes valid. So this is what a contingent contract normally is. It is dependent upon some event which may or may not happen and depending upon the happening or non-happening of that event, this contract may or may not happen. Now in this example, the event was reaching of the ship. If the ship reached, that is if the event happened, the contract becomes valid, the contract will happen. If the ship did not reach, the contract will not happen because the event did not happen. So this contract was based on happening of the event. Likewise, a contract might also be based on the non-happening of the event. Let's say I tell you, you know, we'll go to play cricket tomorrow if it does not rain. Now, if it does not rain tomorrow, we'll play cricket. Now, I know this is not a normal business transaction, so it is not a contract. But just to you know, uh, give you a clear picture of contingent contract, I've taken this example. Now, the event here, actually the main contract is about playing cricket and the event here is raining. Now, the event, if it happens, we will not play cricket. And if the event does not happen, that is, it does not rain, then we will play cricket, then the contract will become enforceable and valid. So, a contract can be based on the happening of an event or it might also be based on the non-happening of the event depending upon the parties, how they make the contract. So, after getting a brief idea about contingent contract, let's learn it in detail.